All right, a very short video on the misconceptions of achieving a physique and is it impossible for you or how do you achieve it, right? The truth about genetics when it comes to your physique. When it comes to building muscle of any part of any kind in your body, coming from somebody who's trained in all kinds of ways, if you have a certain physique in mind of what you want to achieve, for example, you want to have prominent shoulders and chest, you want to have big fucking athlete legs, you want to have massive lats, or you want a six pack, you should ask yourself, is this impossible because of genetics or because I don't know how to achieve it, right? That might seem obvious or simple. So you've seen someone's physique at the gym and you've been jealous of their big back or some shit, right? Big back being their lats, not their arse, okay? Basically, and this is the biggest factor to determine if you'll be able to actually become the way you want physique-wise, is you're probably about halfway to achieving the physique that they have anyway. For example, let me explain. And I know this from experience as well. I have a good chest, which I don't think is purely because of genetics, but because I bench three times a week along with other push variations and exercises on push day. And I've been benching since I was 16. And I'm 22 now, okay? So I've been doing it for six years. I started getting compliments about three years after I started doing it. And I wasn't taking it too seriously, but after three years, I was getting compliments for it. But people assume I just have good genetics despite having exercised specifically my chest often and intensely. So I've had friends tell me, I'm jealous of your physique or you're lucky to have your chest, which might sound like I'm boasting. I'm not. The truth is, I was jealous that those friends who were saying that, you know, saying you have great pecs, had a six pack and I couldn't, I believed I couldn't ever get the six pack that they had because it was unhealthy or because of genetics, right? It's because of a herd mentality of people on Instagram Reels or TikTok picking on specific influencers, you know, Insta influencers and bodybuilders because of their clear steroid use, right? Most of them are, yes, but a big amount aren't either. So don't ignore the nanny gains, okay? You can still achieve massive gains without steroids. I'll say it now. If you think anyone who is big or bigger than you or looks better than most people is on steroids, you're the incel of the gym community, okay? You're the incel on the herd, okay? The same type of person who blames women for not being able to get dates with them, okay? Do you really want to be like that? You don't, okay? So then how do you move away from this mindset and get those big ass legs, for example? Okay, it doesn't have too big ass legs, but that sort of thing. I post stuff like this all the time, by the way, so please subscribe and like. The honest answer is you can grow muscles fastest and be stronger and bigger looking if you hit the muscle group more often, fuck insertions or whatever, you know, about muscles and just hit the muscle more often and with more intensity. That could be going from two to three times a week, for example. If your muscles haven't grown in a few months and you still and you start to think they can't grow, right, that's just your brain, you aren't hitting them hard enough, okay? Fuck worrying about how much sleep you're getting. Spend that extra 10 minutes in the gym doing that set, doing two to three more sets even, and hit the muscle more, which honestly, I could do more to get better results as well. That's like bro science, I guess, but it is actually true. It's the one of the few truths, okay? To growing a muscle, hit it more. Science-based as well, by the way. One of my goals is to hit 120 kilograms this year on bench, and I haven't taken action towards it, and now I hear my brain starts to tell me it's a lot harder than it actually is, okay? Courage can change any outcome with this. Also, I am very keen for the future, I've just ordered most of my new setup for this channel and some of it's already arrived. So I can spread the word of Jesus about gains to more people. I've got a lens here. So it's all on its way. Courage can change any outcome.